Was that intro too loud? I feel like that intro was a little too loud. I apologize. I apologize profusely if that intro was way too loud. We're just here today. You guys appreciate you being here. <clears throat> Thanks for coming out. Uh, sudden Tuesday build stream just because it's Tuesday. Just because it's Tuesday. We did a build stream last Tuesday, and despite the train wreck nature of it, I had a really good time, and it was really fun hanging out and kind of, you know, whatever, building and chilling and troubleshooting, and I just had a really good time, you know? Uh, and, and you know, we were supposed to have a TBN today. <laughs> the countdown video is hypnotizing. I, I appreciate this very much, Addie Tooney. I like that countdown video. That's one of my favorite countdown videos ever of all time. Um, I, I had a good, you know, chat with... Danielle Jones yesterday about uh, just, you know, whatever, life and advocacy stuff. And, and, you know, that sort of got me thinking about being effective and is, is, you know, are we being effective? And that's really what I care about. I don't just do TBN, you know, just to do TBN. You know, I, I want to be effective with it. And so uh, it, it's whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going to happen with TBN. I want to do advocacy stuff. But today felt like it felt like I needed to build and I needed to chill. We had some shed time. If, if anybody's curious, it's my absolute, some of my absolute favorite strain Super Silver Haze mixed with some new chocolate something that I got from Lowell Farms. I really like that place. That farm, they're a really like <laughs> super pretentious uh, farm uh, in California and they sell to all the dispensaries. Their stuff is pretty good to be fair. So... We're just going to build. We're just going to chill. We have a Cabo? <laughs> Cabello? I know. I believe it's Cabello. I believe it's Cabello. Well, let me get my, uh, where's my build and chill? There we go. Now we're on the build and chill. But hey, I appreciate you guys being here. Breeze Tones, I see you there. Chaos Dex, I see you there. Addy Tooney. Uh, reliable. I love you, Addy Tooney. Can always rely on Addy Tooney. Sexy King Phil, you never let me down. I can always rely on King Phil and Addy Tooney. If I ever have like an off day stream or something like, no one was expecting 1130 on a Tuesday for there to be a build stream, but we still have two moderators. That's called, yes. That's called, they're, they, they never let me down. Appreciate you guys being here. Breeze Tones, Vicky Benji. Hello to Sweden. I'm gonna pronounce your name the worst wrong I will ever pronounce a name, I guarantee you right now. I don't know if, if to Sweden, what the, what the term shed time means is, we were in the shed, we had shed time. There might've been some cannabis involved. Hello, welcome to the United, from the United States of America. I wish I could get my cannabis from a farm, yeah. I mean, we pay for it. It's when I say bougie, it's like bougie, pretentious weed that like you pay for it. It's expensive. Uh, Cabello. Who's excited about the Cabello? I'm excited about the Cabello. And so, yeah, I just I, I got to thinking how to be effective. I love TBN. I want to do TBNs. Um, both Danielle and I, Jones, Jones and I kind of came to the conclusion like it's it's exhausting uh, being an advocate all the time and being on Twitter all the time and like she's like the time I spent away from Twitter it's like my you know it's like oh I have a life again it's like yeah Twitter it, it pulls you in and it constantly feeds me like anti-vaping nonsense anti-vaping stuff that you have to respond to that you kind of have to get involved with and be polite about and you know I feel like a broken record a lot of the time and I'm just wondering Am I being effective? I want to be effective. I'm, I'm going to think about how I can be the most effective, if that makes sense. So it's not necessarily goodbye TBN or rest in peace TBN, but I love the idea of doing a Tuesday early afternoon build stream. Let me tell you, that really blows my skirt up in a way that makes me happy. I'm a giant cup of uh, decaf coffee. This is from my old Starbucks. I think I can show this on the stream. It's just the roasting plant address I worked there for a, you know almost a decade and we got a cabello 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 uh breeze tones 
You want to talk about this? I can talk about this. I'm 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 super down to talk about this. Let's save this font. Your Gil Sands now. That's the font I'm using. Gil Sands. Um. Yeah, doom scrolling is a thing, and it's something that I get actively, actively pulled into, and I fall for it. it you know, I don't. I can't explain it. Doom scrolling is something I can't explain, but I get on Twitter like the first thing every morning with the intent of being outraged, you know, with the intent of being outraged, knowing that I'm going to see something that's just going to set me off. And it's probably going to be some like the guy that posted the Stanford study that shows harm from vaping and it's four people and, and they're using this as like an excuse to, you know, oh, we need to do something about vaping. Here's some harm we found. We found four. We seek out. We seeked out four people. Four people. Let's see. Uh, f probably f millions and millions, uh, uh, millions and millions of and millions and millions of vapors worldwide f for the last 15 years with zero attributable harm and death. And then Stanford finds four people. And you're like, you're a COPD doctor and you're anti-vaping? What the, what is wrong with you? And so I get on social media knowing I'll see that. That's doom scrolling. And then I see terrible news and you know, you start reading politics and like, you just, you start losing faith in humanity and I'm done, I don't wanna, I'm done losing faith in humanity. You know, I wanna, I wanna have my faith in humanity restored. So mother truck, let's have a build and chill, you know? Don't doom scroll. Hashtag do, do not doom scroll. I just don't, you know, social media in general. And I realize as a person that solely exists on social media, that's where I exist, on the internet. I, I, it still bothers me. It still rubs me the wrong way. But anyway, you guys, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are able to hell, uh, to chill, having, having a chill day. Word. Breeze tones, do you doom scroll? I know you doom scroll. Yeah. And, and it's important to stay away from Twitter. And it's also important, I think, to be on Twitter because that's really where the conversation is happening. It's like Elon Musk called it the, you know, our, the modern public forum or the modern town hall. It's like, yeah, you can tweet directly at your Congress people and you can see your Congress people's tweets. It's like a big open forum town hall. And I don't think Congress people are allowed to block you. And I don't think government agencies are allowed to block you because if that were true, the real cost would have blocked me ages ago. But they never have. And I, don't, I think it's because it's a government agency. Anyway, get on Twitter, but stay off of Twitter. Look after your own mental well-being and please don't doom scroll. <laughs> I break the habit every once in a while. You know, I break the habit every once in a while. But occasionally, and the worst thing is when you're aware of it and you just keep doing it. You you just you just keep doing it. Got a super chat in. I don't know what that translates to, but that is very gracious of you. Appreciate you. Das Keshitzitz. Keshitzitz das. I don't know that I've ever I haven't never seen you on a live stream. Welcome. Thank you for coming out. Hope you want to hang out. Hope you want to see the Cabo. It's pronounced Cabo. I know it's pronounced Cabo. I'm going to close the chat. I'm going to close the poll chat. I'm just kidding. It's Cabello. It's Cabello. For a long time, I thought it was Cabo, and I called it the Cabo because when you look at it, it kind of, I could, you could get Cabo out of that, right? It's not completely ridiculous. But it is. It's Cabello. I have two versions. I have two versions today, and I hope to build both of them. One of them is the mouth to lung. One of them is the, they say it's a direct lung. So I'm assuming it's a direct lung. I haven't uh, opened these really or fiddled with them or taken them apart in any capacity. Um, we're just going to use whatever we get inside. Uh, I've got some coils, you know, as we usually do uh, on the build stream. And I think I kind of want to do the direct lung first. I 
kind of want to do the direct lung first. Oh, greetings to you, back to you. Greetings back to you. Thank you for being here. German products from Germany. Correct. Uh, so here's the story of these. Uh, I went to uh, Hall of Vape uh, in Germany. I, it's a show I've always wanted to go to. Uh, I, I, I was in Dubai. And so I thought, I'm just going to buy a plane ticket to Germany. And I went to Germany because Hall of Vape was happening. And so I spent a week in Germany. And then I spent the weekend at Hall of Vape. And it was spectacular. I did a little uh, poorly made vlog travel video for it. It's it's out there. I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch it. I think it's a cool video. I think it turned out cool. But it was a rad show, and I got I got cool stuff. And one of the cool stuffs that I got when I was talking to the owner of Steam Pipes was two cabos. He hooked it up with a mouth-to-lung and a direct lung cabo. The packaging is different. I'm not sure I want to show you the back because there's some barcodes, and YouTube's been, like, so touchy that I don't want to necessarily show anything that I, I, I'm not supposed to. Good at, oh, hey, look at this, Herbsman. The Herbsman. Sorry, uh, good day, Nick. I was just thinking of pulling the trigger on a secondhand Cabo. Cabello. Uh, I think your build session is the sign that I'm waiting for. That's it, greetings from the Philippines. It is a sign, this is a sign. Pull that trigger. I've heard literally nothing but excellent things about this RTA in a big way. In a big way. But it says on the back that this is the uh, Cabello ES version 5.5 RDTA. And they call it an RDTA because it is an RDTA because by definition, an RDTA is the deck on top of the tank of liquid. That's what an RDTA is. Whether your wick is capillary action, whether your wick is pressure-based and capillary action, what I, which is what I believe this is, whether it's stainless steel wick, stainless steel cable, cotton, whatever, that's an RDTA. Here's the thing. They say it's an RDTA because it is an RDTA. If the deck was at the bottom and the tank liquid was on top, that is a tank. So... I'm gonna go, I like, I like the idea of a direct lung. Here's the thing, I have some mouth to lungs set up, but I want a direct lung and I have a, a, an Asmodus, as some people call it, or I call it Asmodus. It's an old, uh, you know, uh, Minikin, Kodama. Uh, and I have no 18650s, all right. I'm gonna have to pillage some 18650s from the SX Mini. That's okay. The mod that never got a review and SX probably hates me now, but I'm sorry. I apologize. I got a Kodama to put this direct lung on and that just, that's doing it for me right now. Come to life, Minikin. Did anybody ever have a Minikin or the Kodama Minikins? I thought these were super nice. They're like stab one in acrylic, and I really liked these. I really like these. In fact, hang on. This one is was my all-time favorite. Uh, it's very super polished, and it's blue and purple, and lots of green and wood and blue and purple. And I always loved this because I thought it looked like the California coast. It always looked like the coast of, like, you know, the coast of the United States, like California or something like that, or like the Gulf of Mexico or something. I don't know, just land and sea. I thought that was cool. But it's, this one's substantially bigger, and I honestly don't remember the difference between these two. They were both Minikins, but I think the Kodama was this one, but I thought Kodama was the Stabwood, but I could be incorrect. This one is very dull, as you can see the difference so I don't know maybe we'll decide later but I think it's gonna go on this one because I like this form factor oh so much better um, but I do want to do this let's build this Cabello Cabello it's a real slick looking RTA man 
Someone mentioned something about purging. I think I saw a super chat about purging. Yeah, the airflow does come in from the top. Those slots. Oh, my finger's so dirty. Oh my gosh. No, that's unacceptable. I mean, I need to wash my hands. That is crazy. That's dirty. I know exactly what that's from. I don't want to. That's gross. I'll be right back. I'm going to wash my hands. this RTA or DTA rather airflow on the top big 810 drip tip is this 810 drip tip this is threaded this is a threaded drip tip okay Germans threaded drip tip this comes apart that's how you control your airflow can I take that peak insulator thing out of there is that a thing Okay, there's your. That's where your, you know, drip tip goes in. Airflow is going to go around that peak insulator. Right at your coils. I wonder how. Can I test the airflow in this? Would would the airflow be accurate without a build? I just want to see how open this is going to be. Okay, so there is only two airflow holes. Those do not represent any airflow. Those are just machined in. Okay, I see what's going on on the top here. Let me get my tools. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah, airflow, airflow, fakie airflow, fakie airflow. Those are just machined in there to make it matchy matchy so that you you don't you don't lose. Could I have picked a grosser pair of scissors? Airflow, airflow, fakie airflow. Yeah, fakie airflow. It just looks like it. So that's what you get. And you can adjust it open or closed. I'm just gonna try it. Sorry, let me turn down the music. That's way too loud. Hang on, music, stop it. It's build and chill. <sighs> like, what? DJ Rhett's beard in the house? DJ Rhett's beard? Oh, it's pretty open. And this drip tip does a good job of keeping your lips kind of away from that airflow. And you can position your mouth even so that the airflow is always on the side. So if you go hard on the drip tip and you cover up those, it won't matter. If you cover up the fakey airflow, I like that. The peak insulator is your airflow. The mouth to lung has a different one in it. Oh, I see. So you mean to tell me if I open this one, I think there's a, I think there's more different with the uh, mouth to lung. Maybe not more, but this one has a different threaded drip tip. The mouth to lung has a different threaded drip tip that's more mouth to lungy. It looks like it has a uh, different airflow as well. Am I crazy? Or less airflow? I mean, it feels very mouth to lung. Ah, I see there. And then there's more. I see what happened. I see what happened. I see what's going on here. I'm hip to you, Cabello. You think you're slick, but you're you're correct. So now which is which? No idea. Restricted lung, mouth to lung. Okay, this is the mouth to lung clearly, right? Where? 
but otherwise everything's the same. Threads, top cap. I think I can pull this off now. Uh, I need something with good threads. Def mods. There it is. Okay. Okay. What airflow does that look like? This comes off of here, correct? Okay. Okay. Well, look, I don't want to force it. When you choose one airflow hole, you can point the air to your coil on only one side. There are three openings on the top cap, says Bison in the chat. What's up, Rifleman? Of course you can see inside the top cap. It has two intakes. Hello. So we still don't know which is which. Because I got confused. Nope, I took them apart. You should be able to tear, tell from the airflow which is which. There should be some, you know, glaring factor where you go, okay, this is clearly mouth to lung. Okay, that's clearly mouth to lung. Hi. Because it's that peak insulator has a threaded, really, really, really tiny mouth to lung. Figured it out. Otherwise, everything does appear to be the same. Yeah, these, these peak, these just lift off. So ideally, you would build your coil first, you know, and then take off your peak insulator. And then, I mean, like, put on your peak insulator. Like, choose your airflow. Am I even talking? Am I speaking? Clearly mouth to lung. Clearly direct lung. Boom. Roasted. The, there is a way for this to come off. I just got, I just pulled it off. I just pulled it off. It came right off. I think I had to do it this way. Yep, there you go. Boom. Easily done. And that is where your liquid is going to end up. And I'm assuming the inside of this looks like the Nico. I think I could take this apart. Do you want, should we take this completely apart before we build it? Do a real, real exploratory surgery on this? Let's see. I'm sure, I'm confident we can. Let's get the right size first. It's gonna be none of these because, oh, maybe this one. No. That's not big enough? Holy butts. It comes with a tool. Does it not? It does. Okay. It comes with a tool. It also comes with other things as well. Cur Curtis White. In got, got a super chat from Curtis White. It is, he says, uh, uh, when was Super Grim? Super Grim, it's, uh, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we're, we're making sure we're, we do everything correctly, you know. And uh, that's that's all I can say. It's going to happen. It's soon. You know, I've been saying soon for a while, but it is soon. It is. It will be soon. It's just a matter of getting it across the finish line. I can tell you that we have a bunch of rad flavors. Uh, they're going to be uh, in, you know, traditional nicotine and salt formulations as well. 
you know, in compliance with UK laws and the such as. So it's, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. Yo, yo, I too, you jangles. Mother trucking jangles. Thanks, bro. He says, hey, $5 is $5. Yo, yo, good sir. Yo, yo. Jangles just bought me lunch. Thank you, Jangles. Appreciate that. So here's the thing. I started unscrewing this. Uh, I started unscrewing this number here at the bottom. And everything started like it felt like it started falling apart. And so I just didn't want to F, 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 F anything up, you know. I feel like that's as far out as I can get it. I see the peak insulator is already coming up. Can I just not do this? Should this all be separating? What am I doing wrong? Maybe we can't, maybe I just can't take this apart because I'm an idiot. Yeah, the Kumo, yeah, it's the, it's, the, it's the Kumo wicking method. I believe it's based some on, well, that's so out of focus. I believe it's based some on capillary action, as they say, but I think a lot of it, especially in the case of this RDTA, is kind of based on air pressure because there's O-rings everywhere. Everything snaps together. See if I unscrew this. Oh, did I miss you? Did I miss you, Super Chat? I'm sorry. Oh, I, I see you, sir. I see you. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I, here, 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 we're going to do this. Ready? We, well, I'll correct this. All will be corrected. Don't even trip. There he is. Thank you. Appreciate you. Now, can you tell me what's going on with this RDTA? None of this comes out as far as much as I unscrew this. It, yeah, screw it up. You got two. No, I don't want to do that because this is a sought after high end, difficult to get. I'm told, you know, amazing product. I don't think this just unscrews. It definitely does. I'm an idiot. So there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we figured it out here. I figured it out. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you very much. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's just a matter of uh, separating this part right there. Peak insulator. It's threaded on the inside. O-ring, another O-ring, which leads me to believe that uh, this is based on pressure as well. And then here's your base base. Got to get that. Got to get that base, base, base. O-ring down there, too. Does this just pop off or... Or what? Oh, yes. Okay. Pops off. Yeah, careful about that O-ring, too. You got an O-ring right there. Tiny O-ring right there. O-ring on top right there. That's where your liquid travels through. And I believe... I believe it is also pressure based. So I think you have to vape it for it to, to, to wick. Yeah, I mean. Okay, so that can screw down into there. Then we're getting it back together. I'm sorry that this keeps going out of focus. If I would just keep it in the middle, then we wouldn't be having this issue. The machining jangles. Uh, I, I very agree, Jangles. Very agree. All the machining, nice. Everything, very good. 
It looks beautiful. It fits together nice. I've never worried about, you know, breaking anything or here. I knew that AFC would come off. It was just a matter of how. And there's a little clippy on one side and not a little clippy on the other side, basically. So this is going to be the one we're going to be building in. And you fill it from the front right here. Pow. That's where you fill it from. Nope, this does not have the steel wick. This does not have anything. It's just the machined tubes that you saw. And I think that I'm not an engineer and I'm definitely, definitely not like a German engineer. But the way I think that it works is it's a combination of pressure. So when you take a drag, it's causing a vacuum kind of like in an RTA. But I think the distance between those two tubes it's been, you know, whatever, engineered and machined precisely to be the correct distance apart where it's going to pull liquid up. I mean, the, the way that I'm explaining it just makes it sound dumb. <laughs> I basically just said the way that it's made makes it wick. And that's not really an acceptable answer. I did get spare O-rings, uh, some spare screws. I did get a threaded disc of some sort that I don't quite know what it goes to. Could be for a multitude of things. I don't know. It's threaded on the outside, inside and outside. Drip tip? It's got to be something to do with the drip tip, right? Smash that like button before you go, Dean of the Dead. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. And if you're not leaving, then smack that like button and just can hang out. Yeah, it's capillary. Cap capillary. But I think it has to get started. Like, I think it's like it needs to get started somehow with pressure. It needs to go because I did a little bit of research on this. I'm going in mostly blind, but I skimmed through a few videos, you know, and I when I got to Jay Hayes video, I noticed he put wicks in it filled it up and put wicks in it and literally nothing happened. Topped it off, put wicks in it, literally did nothing happen. The bottoms just stayed dry. It wasn't until he wet the top and took some drags on it that it finally started like functioning. And I think it needs air pressure for that liquid to get up. I believe, I could be wrong. I should, I should, I should get reach out to the owner of steam pipes but i don't know if he'd remember me from uh from hall of vape but he might wait are these not flathead screws yeah i think these are flatheads yes Let's spin this deck around so you can see that's your opening that's your opening kapow so we can just take a coil. They do give you this insane exploded view. Let me make sure there's no uh, web addresses on here. Perfect. They do give you this insane exploded view. Version 5.5. Oh, there is a web address at the top. That's okay. I can blur that part out. It's in German. But that's completely broken down, exploded view. Keep track of your peak insulators. Keep track. Buzz. Hey, welcome, Buzz. Have you used uh, the Cabello, Buzz? Uh, I'm going to go for some Twisted Timmy's coils just because I always go for some Twisted Timmy's coils because he has... Uh, a micro framed staple that I think might be rad as hell in this. Uh, uh, uh. I think it could be rad as hell in this. Uh, I might need to take off a wrap or add a wrap. We'll see. Uh, I might be able to do this. Yes, Twisted Timmy. I need 
the leads going in the same direction. Ooh, it's gonna be a close fit. This is gonna be a close fit. But I think it might work. I should have checked it. I mean, I'll have to check it with the airflow, obviously, but I think this is gonna work. I'm actually very confident in this. Should we build both of them? I may just do this one, you guys. I may just do the restricted lung. No, we'll do the mouth to lung. Let's see, capture that lead. Dang, that is good. Too wide. Yeah, so what we're looking at, that's a twisted Timmy. <laughs> you can't, there's no way that my camera's not going to focus on the wrong spot. Twisted Timmy. Uh, wait, let me find the uh, advertising part of what they are. Here's what it is micro frame staple. That looks like uh, dual. 30 gauge with 42 gauge nichrome 80 five wrap two and a half millimeter 0.36 ohm single coil great 0.3 a 0.3 on a dual 18650 you'll have battery life for days for months even Test fit this airflow. I have to pull that coil like up and away a little bit. Yeah, I know. Let me clip the leads on that are coming out the back first. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read the chat. That's a big thing that happens on this build stream is people are yelling advice at me, but I can't see the stream or I can't see the chat because my glasses are up. Grim Green Peak Insulator. Grim Green Peak Insulator. Which peak insulator? Yeah, this peak insulator. What you talking about? Lift the coil up, Swamp Thing. Lift the coil up. I feel like this is a stream where the chat always just needs to be on the screen. <laughs> What's up, Jared? I feel like we've all had those days, Jared. I feel like we've all had these days. It could turn into that one of these days for me. You don't even know. Okay. is exactly the same distance. I think it would be good. Oh, that's right, I need to trim the weeds first. Okay. That's as good as we're going to get. Uh, am I doing this wrong? No, it goes in this way. Yeah, there's two tabs. Two tabs. It, it, used, it should go in between that AFC. goes in like this. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're the one crazy. Drive me crazy. That's it. That's how it has to work, correct? Yeah, I think that's it. Let me put my glasses on so I can see if the chat is yelling at me or not. Shave that peak. Yeah, here's the thing. It's a it's a tight fit, but 
but I think the coil's okay. I haven't glowed it yet, but they do leave a little bit. I just figured for the install, it was easier to put the coil in before, you know, with that all that peak insulator out of the way. Get your tool in there. And then put the peak on. Peak airflow, rather. And they leave you a little cradle for your tool. So I can lift it up. Boosh. Boosh. Hella boosh. Hella boosh, hella boosh. Right, you can you can pull it right to your airflow. Oh my god, look at that airflow is gonna be hitting perfect! That is perfection. I'm just patting myself on the back right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that guy. Yeah. I'm hip with that. I'm down. Cameron, I agree. 10 out of 10. You think the coil's still too low? You think, is it still too low, Adrian? Even looking right now, seeing the bottom of your coil. I feel like that is freaking perfect. 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 Steve-O, welcome. All right, so I'm not going to be able to keep these separated. Now it just has to, now it just has to glow, you know? Now it just has to glow. Let's see what this. Uh... Point three six. That's exa this is exactly what uh, Twisted Timmy promised and delivered. Let's see. Let's see. Let's play. I want to be, you know, I want to be careful. I don't want to go too crazy because the peak insulator is right there. Thankfully, that's all you need. Twisted Timmy is one skilled mother trucker. These these started glowing with like two strums. I'll keep it to a minimum just because it is kind of near that peak, and they don't get glowing when you're vaping it, but. Whoops, I locked it. Sorry. Zip. Perfect. Zip. Perfect. I love these. I love the way they glow. Turn the peak off. What? It's fine. It's fine. Molten peak shavings. I know. I should Maybe I should have taken it off. But that's it. It's done. It's done. It's far enough away. I don't think I caused any problems. Peak is heat tolerant. That's why it exists. Timmy, same. Steve-O. Bruh, same. Same. Okay, so cotton. We're going to use BP mods. Pro VAP cotton. Because everybody needs some Pro VAP cotton. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I have a pair of tweezers. Have I shown you these tweezers? These are the most annoying tweezers in the history of tweezerdom. See how the tip is broken? So you can't grab the tip tip with these tweezers and damn it. And damn it. Here's the thing. Caliburn X review, Trent. I, I'm hoping to, we'll, we'll see. Very, very soon, very, very soon, very soon. I don't, just as a heads up, I, I'm not like in love with the Caliburn X. It's pretty Caliburn X-licious. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just not super in love with it. It's okay. I'm just going to do this. I don't know. Cut it, tuck it, right? 
Is there a fluffing? Give me a th thumbs up or thumbs down for fluffing. Yeah, and, and Timmy is a great dude as well. I'm going to cut these pretty short. Kachow? Kachow? You can always do some fine tuning. There you go. Kachow, right? I don't think I need to fluff them. I'm just going to tip nips and peak salad. Yeah. Tip nips. If you want to like this video, like that would just like that would really help me out a lot more than you realize, more than anybody realizes. Should I fluff a little? Is that what you think, Jangles? Should I fluff a little? I mean, I'm not going to not fluff a little bit. I find it's never hurts to fluff. Like it always will wick a little bit better. You know, it doesn't hurt. You just take an extra few seconds. I'm just lazy, you know. And you can't forget the under tickle. If you forget the under tickle, Mike, Vape, Mike Vapes haunts you in your dreams like Freddy Krueger. He comes running at you with his hat, you know, and like a pair of tweezers. He's like, someone forgot the under tickle. No, Mike. What's up? Peeps, my vapes here. <laughs> it happens. That's why I did the under tickle. And then we'll retrim. You say easier cotton placement with the peak off? All right, I'll keep that in mind. We're gonna do the mouth to lung one next. So. We'll see how hard it is with the peak. I feel like it's not going to be too much. Even just looking under there, I'm, I'm a, I can thumb. Oh yeah, Psh. no big deal. No big deal. If you're a seasoned thumber, no big deal. All right. Hopefully that stays. Uh, I believe this to be at least a, a 9 out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10. That's a Twisted Timmy's micro-framed staple with some BP cotton. Uh, that was definitely under-tickled, though. Mark <laughs> I, Also, uh, if, if you, if you want to throw me some horror movie suggestions, I, I'm looking for some horror movie suggestions. I'm leaning into October. Uh, it's the end of summer, and so I'm leaning into horror movies. Uh, so far, all I've watched is Hellraiser and most of Hellraiser 2, and Phantasm's on the list. Now, the liquid... <laughs> Guava jelly? Damn. No... No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. out yeah give it to me put it in my vape mouth happy tuesday ashton palmer hey love you hope you're doing good bro hope you're thriving the poughkeepsie tapes okay i've heard about the poughkeepsie tapes i've definitely heard about the poughkeepsie tapes ash versus evil dead on netflix is amazing okay ty lynch thank you for that Thank you for that. I, I am a big fan. I, I am personally a big fan of uh, 
Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, all of the Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell nonsense. I just eat it up with a spoon. Love the crap out of it. Love the crap out of it. I've seen Paranormal Activity, the Poughkeepsie tapes. This, I haven't thought about the Poughkeepsie tapes in a really long time, but, but I never got to watch it. I have seen Paranormal Activity. Listen, I'm not the biggest Paranormal Activity fan. I think the first Paranormal Activity is pretty good. The other ones go maybe a little off the rails. And then, you know, <laughs> it's Paranormal Activity. Let's, uh, we're just gonna put the tip right in here. I guess just, bleh. there it goes. We'll fill it up. Fill it up. Do we just have to eyeball when it comes out the top or? You just keep squeezing. How do you know when it's full? I guess that's full. How do you know when it's full? I don't know. I filled it all the way up and the juice is just kind of right there. So I'm going to assume that that's full. Now the next thing we have to do is, oh, there's three air flows and three air flows. I see three air flows as above, so below. Okay. That one rings a bell with me. Incident in a ghost land. Dirty hippie. What are your horror qualifications? Incident in a ghost land. I'm just kidding. Incident in a ghost land. Preferably if these are on the Shutter streaming app, I would like to watch them. Serpent in the Rainbow, I've never seen, believe it or not. That's crazy, right? I've never seen it. Okay, here's the thing. Herbsman. Event Horizon is not, it does not hold up. Okay, I just want you to know it doesn't hold up. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah, these are the same. These are the same. These are the same. So it should just go on if you line up the airflow with the peak, right? That didn't sound good. Why did that sound crunchy? It felt like there was something not right about that, but it's not difficult to look from the top and just make sure that those peak, you know, peak peaks end up in your airflow like that. Yeah, straight down, straight down. Straight down, straight down. Then your airflow goes on next. And we're just gonna leave this full on open. And then you screw your drip tip down and then you take it off the Guar Mod and you put it on your minikin, because that's how it's gonna rest. That's its final resting place. Man, I hope this works. Let's get some batteries. Oh, there's batteries already in here. That's right, one, two, three, four, five. What do you have to say, Asmodus? Do I even remember how to? Okay, that, so. I don't know if that's my fault. I don't know if that's the Asmodus' fault. It's an old mod. Uh, when I first put it on there, it was reading a 0. 0.6 and then a 0. 0.53 and then a nothing. So that's okay. I wasn't super attached to using this device particularly. I don't have to use it. Let's try this other minikin. I mean, I do want this to work. Still cool. 
The Witch. Here's the thing. Yes, The Witch. And here's the thing I wanted to say to Herbsman. Event Horizon, I used to love Event Horizon. Used to love Event Horizon. Does, does not hit anymore. I watched it recently. Does not hold up. I was like, this actually, this movie is actually bad. And I used to love the hell out of it. It's weird. The Witch, I am a really big fan of. Really big fan of. Really big fan of. One thing I want to watch again is Something Wicked This Way Comes. I haven't seen that in a really long time. I'd like to check that out. Zombie Beavers Must Die. Addy Tooney. It's weird. Weird. Shaun of the Dead. This, Mike, we just became best friends because Shaun of the Dead rules hard. Hard. Deep cuts, Matt. Deep cuts. That's all I can tell you on YouTube. From Dust Till Dawn, classic. I do want to watch that. Is The Descent really good? Okay, I'm sorry. I got too far back in the chat. I need to get caught up. Let's see if this works. I just don't want it to say shorted again. Okay, yep. It's reading a 0.35. Perfect. We can turn the wattage down to what? 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 <laughs> What would I start this at? 35 watts? The airflow feels real smooth. If not, man, just a little sharp. Is it a little sharp? I feel like it's a little sharp. Brand new cherry flavor on Netflix. Is this that you're, that you're telling me this is a, a series, streaming series? called Brand New Cherry Flavor? That's a horror movie that I should watch. Mowgli, look, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I will seek this out. I'm gonna, ha I like this so much, I'm gonna write this down. In my, on my vlog notes even. Brand. <laughs> okay, okay. I will. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, Mark Hardly. Mark Hardly. Mark Hardy. Classic. Honestly, classic. Don't even joke about that. That's classic. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I still love Spoltergeist. Spoltergeist. Poltergeist? I still love Poltergeist. In my upstairs bedroom, we have a closet that looks like Carol Ann's bedroom closet, and we refer to it as the Poltergeist closet. Uh, and if we're getting in bed, I ask my wife, did you close the poltergeist closet? Do we need to close the poltergeist closet? Go close the poltergeist closet. Rob, thank you. I'm not crazy. 100 watts or go home? I'm going to start somewhere at, let's just pick an arbitrary, 31.7 watts. 31.7 watts. Cheers on the Cabello. Full open. That flavor is everything. That flavor is everything. This definitely needs more wattage. Based on that, I'm gonna immediately go to at least 40 watts. The skeletons in the pool were real. Yeah. You only move the headstones. God, what a great movie. I'm gonna watch that. We're gonna watch that soon. I want it to get colder outside first. Here's the thing, vaping butcher. I went through a severe Cabello at 40 watts. Flavor, 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 flavor. This could even use more wattage. But it should still be wicking. It should still be wicking. I'm sorry. Let me get back to La Grudge. I went through a severe and long love affair with all things Japanese horror, uh, Korean horror, any and all Asian horror, 
give it to me. I loved it. I ate it up with a spoon. So I loved the American grudges and I loved the Japanese versions of the grudges, the originals. And I, you know, I, I lived and died for them. I thought the grudge one was amazing. Juon two was uh, just as good. The thing. So yes, I will revisit all, all and shutter has welcome to the horror movie, uh, coffee build stream. Uh, shutter has, the Ring, The Ring 2, The Ring Zero, all the original Japanese ones. Ooh, they're good. Ring Zero is arguably the best Ring movie. Go go on, subscribe to the Shutter app or otherwise, you know, get it somehow. Yeah, you know, I don't know, Plex servers and such as. Watch the Ring watch Ring Zero and it's awesome. The thing is classic. Okay, here we go. 45 watts, final answer for the Cabello. Keeps wicking, keeps wicking. And this is just one of those things you just kind of have to trust it and you have to trust the process. But I'm getting delicious flavor, wonderfully smooth airflow. It's maybe maybe this much sharp a hair sharp but that could be due to you know a number of reasons yeah i mean it, the sharp i don't know it's like it's like i shouldn't have even said anything i shouldn't have even said anything i just think i, I should just said it was smooth peace out adrian we're going to get into this uh, mouth to lung cabello as well because uh, I really like the way this vapes. Really like it. And I can't explain to you. I wish I had a point of view camera, but the way that I hold my minikin is kind of something like this weird claw, right? It's just this is how it is. And so I can put my elbow here and put it right to my face. And the air flows are directly on either side. Directly on either side. It's perfect. The way that the threading lined up, it's just offset enough. It's kind of incredible. Uh, you can look down in there too. Like, oh, I can't grab that light anymore. You can see that it's moist. You can see that your coil is moist. You can see that your wicks are moist in there. But I could take off this drip tip and see better, right? Yeah, dude. That looks moist if you can see in there. I don't necessarily want to take this top off. You just got to trust the process. Trust the process. Uh... Listen, I haven't vaped the Aspire Kumo in a while. This is, in my memory, more open Kithrin than the Aspire Kumo. Much more airflow, bigger, smoother, swooshier airflow. All right, all right. Well, so I got some horror movies to look into. Most notably, brand new cherry flavor on... Uh, on Netflix looks moist. M O I S T. M O I S T. That's who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me. M O I S T. M O I S T. It just keeps up. I'm just, I know I can confidently vape this. That's the thing. I know the technology works. I know the German engineering works. I even get a slight little rumble crackle. This is great. Dr. Sleep was good. I never watched Dr. Sleep, but I'm such a big fan of The Shining. Such a big fan of The Shining. Possible for an 18650 tube mech tie? Absolutely. You could, uh, maybe not this exact build, but you could run a single coil. 
on an 18652 mech. This fits on here perfectly. In fact, the mod that I have set aside for the mouth to lung, that looks slick. This looks, look, this looks pretty good. Uh, if my camera wasn't so crooked, th th this looks pretty good. Whoa, that is a crooked camera, Nick. How's that? Better? Worse? Can't even see it? Could it can't get back far enough to that? <laughs> I got my hammer and block here. That looks pretty good, I think. Not bad. It's dual 18650, it's 0.3, it's at 45 watts. This is a good setup, like good battery combination for this single coil. Yes, it's good. But the one that I have for the mouth to lung is much better. It's much cooler, much cooler. Uh, let's see, sorry, let me get over to these uh, super chats. Uh, Dick Roller, Dick Roller says, did you ever see Antichrist with Willem Dafoe? It's disturbing. Here's the thing. Is that on Shudder? Because I really want to watch it. Here's the story with uh, Willem Dafoe and the Antichrist movie before we get to the mouth to lung. Has it been an hour? That took an hour to build? There was a lot of horror movie talk in there too. So, dang, this is going to be already an hour. It's okay. I think the mouth to lung will go much, uh, much, much better. Put it on the die codes tube. Oh my God. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. The D this, the Danny 25. The Danny 25. Let's see. It's not. Oh, look. It's pretty good. That actually looks quite slick. That looks pretty slick. It's tall. Like, look how tall that is already. But what a vintage. What like a throwback. Fuck. I feel like this should be a retro vaping. Uh, like on the vlog. All right, here's the thing. It might end up on the Danny box, on the Danny Diet Codes, for, uh, cur courtesy of Chrome. Chrome in the chat. Brad. No, I'll call you Chrome. I'll call you the Chrome Brad. Let's see. I do need Guar to build this. Um, Antichrist, Willem Dafoe. I really, 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 wa really want to watch it. I've always really wanted to watch it. I used to be super horror fan. You know, it was just, it was one of my things. I, you know, I loved it. I loved horror movies, Night of Living Dead uh, hoodies and like, and so I really, really, really wanted to watch The Antichrist. And it wasn't, when it came out, it wasn't, uh, uh, I don't know, it wasn't at our local video stores. It was only streaming and it was only on Netflix. And like, I, was determined to get Netflix to work. All I had at the time, and this was the year was 2007, 2008. And I have like the slowest internet in the history of internet, but it's streaming. And if I could get Netflix to work on the Wii that I have, then I could watch the Antichrist. And so we got Netflix to work on the Wii and we queued it all up. And my, the girl I was dating at the time, we sat down to watch the Antichrist and we watched like one minute of the Antichrist before it stopped and then buffered and we're like, oh, okay, that's fine. And so we waited and waited and then it started playing again and we went, oh, okay. So we watched about another two minutes before it stopped and buffered again. Needless to say, we did not ever finish the Antichrist with Willem Dafoe, but it's on the list. I want to watch it. Absolutely want to watch it. Cherry Pine Mods, how are you doing? That's very gracious of you. Glad I could finally catch you live. Hope you like the Cabello. It's going to be my favorite RDTA, RTA. Yeah, it, right now, the Cabello direct lung. That, 
that flavor slaps. This is superior to like every RTA that has ever existed. Cause you just get rock ass flavor. Cause you just get rock ass flavor and it's high up. That's where your flavor is coming from. Top down airflow at wicks, capillary action. It's an RDTA. I cannot get the, uh, I cannot get this peak insulator off of here. It's upsetting me. It's upsetting me. Can I use a little flathead screwdriver? I don't want to break it or anything. Ha, huh, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Just pop right off. Hey, hey, we're back. What happened? We're, what happened? Did something happen with the stream? Was I muted? Fixed? What? What did I do? Buffering? Was it a dangle clack? Hello? I don't know. Uh, everything looks good on my end. It says excellent connection. If you're having a problem, refresh. If you're having a problem, refresh. Sorry, I didn't realize there was a problem on. I just see people in the chat saying we're back. And I was like, I wouldn't, we didn't go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere. Yeah, refresh, try to catch up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. We didn't, I <laughs> invented Netflix and chill. Needless to say, we didn't, uh, we probably went outside and smoked a bunch of cigarettes, got really super drunk and you know, whatever. We were, we were bad for each other, but it was good times. Let's get a, uh, we might have to go Twisted Timmy's again. Let's see. I'm not saying that we are, but uh, he does make some MTL coils for sure. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh. Yep. Let's try it. Ooh. Ooh. Are these going to be too big? Shoot. I don't know if that's going to be too weird. Micro tri fused. Micro tri twisted fused. Micro tri twisted fused. And they look like this. I think that could be a, 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 a an adequate mouth to lung coil. I think this could be an adequate mouth to lung coil. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened with the, the live stream. Literally nothing happened on my end. YouTube literally just says, hey, your your stream connection is excellent. And I'm like, OK, I'll take an excellent stream connection. I'll take it. Uh, had another super chat from, uh, sorry, Cherry Pine Mon says, glad I could catch you live. Hope you like it. It's got to be my favorite RDTA. Uh, so far, I don't see myself using it, not ever not using it. Like, that is an amazing vape. The flavor alone is so good. It's superior to RTAs. The flavor is just superior because it doesn't have to travel through the center tube. Buzz like, yeah. Appreciate you, Buzz like, yeah. And then Joshua in with a super chat. Uh, Nori, no Roy, no Roy, Tetsuo the Iron Man, Pulse, uh, Dark Water, Cure. I have seen Pulse, the original Japanese Pulse, the original Japanese Dark Water. I have not seen Tetsuo the Iron Man, but I know it's on Shutter. Haven't seen the first one, haven't seen Cure. Ha. Micro Alien? Okay. See this, this is a technically a micro alien. It's a tri-twisted fused micro alien. Everyone had a problem? Refresh, refresh, refresh your stream, refresh your stream, refresh your stream. <laughs> refresh your, oh, can I uh, say this in the chat? Yout, okay. 
Uh, he did. He did send me some top flights. Hang on, hang on. I got a pair of them down here. Top flights, micro aliens, two and a half millimeter. Okay, top flights. We do. We got some uh, here. We got some Timmy top flights. We'll just go with them. Micro aliens, two and a half millimeter. Point, uh, point four five to point five single ohm max crackle. Okay, okay, okay. Architect, appreciate you, buh. First time catching live. Love the vids. Greetings from Turkey. All right, greetings from the United States of America. Hope you're doing well. Here we go, top flights. I like that packaging. Top flights. Oh, oh, oh. They're going off in opposite directions, but that's okay because we can just add a wrap. I think we've learned that we can add a wrap. Add a wrap. Hello there, Rob, and welcome. I can't get over how much I like this this direct lung. Can't purge. That's it. It's more of a purge pain in the ass than like the recoil ever could hope to be. That flavor rules. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, let's put this. I got a top flight Twisted Timmy right here. Micro fused. Look how pretty. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, really. It's going to go straight in here. Now let's adjust the camera up. It doesn't matter if it's... Uh... Yeah. That's the angle everybody's after. Top flights. This is my first try. This is my first experience with the top flights. I'm quite excited. Uh, let's get these screws open. I'm sorry for the stream messing up. Do you think it'll show me that in the replay if I watch the replay? Whoops. They ramp up super quick. Yes. Give it to me. I like it. But here's the thing also. I do like running mouth to lung uh, at a deliberately lower wattage. I like running mouth to lung at a deliberately lower wattage just because I like... Hang on. I'm going to screw these down and then I'll explain what I like about running these at a deliberately lower wattage. I'm just trying to get them uh, pulled away a little bit and centered just a little bit. And they're obviously going to get pulled up. Oh, I hope that captured a lead. I think it did. That definitely captured a lead. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Beautiful, Clark. Beautiful. I like running mouth to lung stuff. I don't even have my good mouth to lung. It's all out by the couch. That's where all my good stuff lives. But I have my Mob 2 inside that Cubic 60 Boro and I run it low so that I can press the button, do like one primer puff maybe, and then take a long drag. So there's like, you know, you're holding the button for an extended period of time, kind of warming up the coil. I just like that. I like that warm warm up puff. I don't know if that's a holdover from like the early days of vaping or something, but I really like it. So I appreciate that these will have a quick ramp up, but I will probably end up running the wattage lower.
freaking perfect. All right, let's glow this, obviously, now, before we... Uh... Ooh, put the peak insulator in there. Uh, let's see. 0.42. It's definitely going to come up in resistance. Before we start fiddling too much. Where is my Addy Tooney? sent me these like just two and three millimeter rods. I lost the three millimeter one. I still have the two and a half millimeter one. And I like it because it's just slightly graduated right here. It just goes up a little bit and it's perfect for like moving your coils around. I have these as well, but it doesn't have that little graduation. And so it makes it difficult. It's harder to push your, push, push your coil around. Anyway, that's all. Just want to shout out Addy Tooney for giving me one of the most useful tools I've ever had. That's too much wattage I'm blasting these with, but it's okay. We're in a hurry. 21 watts, way too much. I think I'll end up vaping these at like 13 watts. Yeah, that ramp up was lightning speed. Lightning speed. Ian, fingernails barfing. Yo. Yo, yo, Frank. Welcome. Ah, you just missed everything. That's okay. Okay, perfect glow. Flawless, perfect, flawless glow. Perfect, flawless, perfect, flawless go. It's a little bit wonky right there, but I I'm going to live with that. I'm going to live with that. And these have, like you saw earlier, they're like threaded. Can you unthread these? Yeah, and back them off a little bit. That's kind of genius. Is it back off? Back off. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see. Shit. Sorry, I need to do this in front of my face. <laughs> the coil's getting in the way. The coil's getting in the way. It's not so much the coil as it is that air flow. It might need to come back towards the posts. I'm going to have to... I'm going to cool this down and push it back towards the posts a little bit. It's too far away. It's too far. Here, I'll prove it. This. You see... See how that's too far? I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Too far out. It's hitting that screw. And it's going to be right next to the airflow. Like too close to that far airflow. It needs to come back towards the post just a little bit. You can always count on earn, Frank. Can always count on earn. Okay, so we're gonna move this back a little bit. And that sucks butts, man. Maybe it is easier to install it with the fucking peak in. Okay, that actually might be way better. 
It's just in. A, it's just a little bit. I tried to move it just a little bit. I'm gonna try to cut the rest of this, the new weed out. Oh yeah. Good. Felt good. Whoops. Nope. That fucked up. Okay. Now let's re. 0.4, 13 watts, 0.4, 13 watts. Let's make sure it glows evenly. Nice. Is it still too far out? Still. I mean, shit. Here's the thing. Let's go. Okay. That is like some crazy close quarters in there. Tell me that's not crazy close quarters. I mean, you have very small, it's far enough away from the screws now, but man, you don't have a lot of room to work with there in the mouth to lung version of this. Not a lot. That's kind of crazy. I'm expecting this to be really good flavor. Damn, that's not a lot of room. I was going to try to glow it. Oh, oh God, it's not glowing super evenly. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just get some wick in here. Let's get some juice in here. I want to vape this enough lolly gagging as they say. I've got, I'm going to turn the wattage down. I'm going to turn the wattage down. And honestly, I don't think when you're actively vaping it, it gets hot enough to, to do anything to the peak. Just keeps wicking. Just keeps wicking. Here, wait, what's our, what's our time limit? All right, uh, I got two minutes left, so, all right, that's fine. <laughs> and I sit here and do like two RTA build in two hours, and then I wonder why the vlog runs long. I'm trying to do like 15,000 segments. I'm also going to definitely thin my wicks. Absolutely thin my wicks. Because it worked awesome. Where are my shears? All right, here they are. Here we go. Man, something like that. Man, something like that. That was great. Do some thinning. Thin, 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 out your wicks. Remember to do the under tickle. For anybody that just got here, if you don't do the under tickle, Mike Vapes <laughs> haunts you in your dreams like Freddy Krueger. Just chasing you with a pair of sharp tweezers. You're suddenly made of cotton. made of cotton at a vape show running from booth to booth from Mike Vapes. This should be a movie. Why hasn't this been made into a movie yet? What's up, peeps? Ah. Yep, I'm just going to thumb these in like I thumbed in the other ones. Welcome to being thumbed. You just got thumbed, Cabello. All right. Nice. Dude, when it all fits in there, it's like, I'm sorry, that was probably out of focus, but damn it. When it all fits in there, 
the wicks and the whoops it just looks great like everything fits in there like you know where it's meant to it's a little uh, you know it's a little claustrophobic you know you don't have much room to work with but 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 it's not difficult I wouldn't call this difficult at all see we built the second one so much faster uh now for a mouth to lung liquid oh no I'm out I'm out of the vinyl engraver that's okay let's go for uh Uh, vinyl and Vapor uh, Raspberry Remix. How about that? Remix. Warning, this nicotine contains product. Product is you know, it's addictive, I guess. Depending on who you talk to. Liquid. Then we fill. Bleh. I don't know how how full this can go. Oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. That's how full you can fill it. Okay. I, I saw it come up, and that's it. That's full. I am very, very looking forward to this. So, again, super easy. You take the airflow that you see on top, just line it up with the peak insulators. It should go, it should go straight down as the such as. Ooh, I caught my finger in there. I caught my skin in there. And then, if you want a single airflow, you can. Or if you want a dual airflow, you can. Let's just do, you know, it's a mouth to lung. And it's condensed down at the entrance, so it doesn't super matter. Now, we were either going to put this on. Or we're either going to put this on the die codes or the one that I had originally picked out for this was the Cthulhu. Because that looks pretty sick. Just fits on there real well. Single 18650 mouth to lung guy, but I don't know. This die codes Danny 25 is really uh, calling to me. I haven't used a tube tube in a while, and I want to use a tube tube. I don't want to use a tube tube. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. How do you not love that? What year is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's get a battery in here. This is the Danny 25, which means it's 21700. Is that what you're telling me right now? Holy butts. It's a 21700. Sick. Sick. That is sick. Now... Nope. I don't know how to turn this on. Did I put it in wrong? Does the positive side go down? I thought it was five on, five off. I can't even explain to you. Like, I know this is a Pickle Rick uh, battery wrap right here, but the tolerances of Pickle Rip falling down in here, it, that is a thing of beauty. It just falls on, a, on an air a pillow of cushiony air. I know, Robin, it's peak 2012. Huh, why won't this, why will this not work? Positive side up, 
Here we go. Who's a Diacodes Danny V2? Okay. Sorry, Danny25. Oh, I have to scan for the code? All right. I'm not going to show the code, but I just don't know how to turn this on. Let's see what can be done. Yep. That's what I've got. Oh, it's in German. Uh, it's in German. Let's see if I can get to... Yeah, okay, there's English. It doesn't say how to turn it on, though. I know it does just straight wattage mode. I know it does. Oh, there it is. Hang on. Hang on. Is this going to round robin? I got it to the I got it to the wattage. I really want this to round robin cuz I'm adjusting it up. How high how high does this go? I could blast this at 200 watts right now. 220, 230, 240, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, okay. It, it's, it's, it's never gonna round robin. I'm just kidding, that was 40 watts. 42.5, nope. Power down. Okay, here we go. The diacodes is weird because it's it's one button operation. I'm gonna turn this down to, like I said, 14 watts. 14 and a half watts. It's reading 0 0.5, 14 and a half watts. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, uh, welcome. Love the shit out of the way this looks. Love the way, shit out of the way this feels. Reminds me of like a pro very. I can I can tell it's wicking. It's already a little bit soggy. Let's let's have an inaugural too. Okay, hang on. This might need substantially more wattage than 15 watts. And by may need, it definitely will need. Nope, come on. Power up. Top flight. Twisted Timmy top flight in here. I'm going to try 23 watts. I'm going to try 23 watts. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's delightful. It's It seems to be over wicking right now. Or... I just put too much liquid on there to begin with. I did also flip it upside down a number of times. We all watched that happen. I'm going to unscrew the drip tip and flick some of this liquid up. That's it. Quick little flick. I love this. I am in love. Uh, it is too low. That's too low of a wattage. 23, 24, 25 watts. How about that? How about 25 watts, Tribal Buddha? Holy crap, that's a good mouth to lung. I wish I could... It's, it's real open. I wish I could turn it down. I mean, I know I can. But up there, it doesn't, shouldn't matter. It's borderline restricted direct lung. Borderline restricted direct lung. But I'm still getting a really good mouth to lung from it. This rules. 
This fucking rules. This rules. Both of these kind of rule. Like, not even kind of. Hit the like button. <laughs> smash the like button if it's throaty. I can't smash the, my own like button. It's not throaty. It's Deep Cuts Vinyl and Vapor 12 milligram. Traditional nicotine, non-salt nicotine. It's my favorite throat hit. Feels great. Delicious on this. It's just real airy. I would like a little bit tighter. I want a little bit tighter. I think I have... I don't know where they are. I can't even begin to look for them, but I know somewhere in a little plastic baggie, somewhere... I have other airflow inserts for the Cabo other than the ones that I have right here. The ones that I have right here still love. Still love this open mouth to lung. I'm an open mouth to lung person and it is open mouth to lung. You could you could restricted lung it. You could restricted lung it, but I have to slipstream it a little bit. Mouth to lunging it though. I just wish it were a little bit tighter. Just a little bit tighter. Yeah, unflinchingly, I would buy multiples of these. This, I can't stress this enough. <laughs> this is vaping amazing. Like straight up amazing, wicking amazing. Feels dense and saturated every single time. Every single time. Incredible. Incroble. Cabello. 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 Did I say Cabo again? Oh, very nice, Graham. One year cigarette free today. Woo! Kick ass. I love that. I'm not going to stop vaping these today. I'm not going to stop vaping these today. I'm supposed to shoot other videos and do other reviews today. I don't want to. I just want to vape these. Success. We even thank you. Shout out to Chrome for the Danny 25, 21700. I love this. I'm going to go have a photo shoot for Instagram right now with this setup somehow. That's amazing. Just great mouth to lung after mouth to lung after mouth to lung. It's so nice and open. The the wicking is perfect. The wicking works perfect. Perfect. This honestly reminds me of the old I taste SVD more than anything else. Just the hand feel of it, like the batonness of this. The batonness. Here, let's change the thumbnail from what I have to this. Yeah, we'll even throw a vape shot in the back. Ready? I'll go like this, and then I'll hit something else. This has no batteries in it. <laughs> hit something else. There's your thumbnail, motherfucker. Love these. Loving them. Love these. Don't want to say goodbye. Would love to continue talking about horror movies, but I do have other work to do today, like I said. Can I try it with my own drip tip? I don't know that I want to. I really like these drip tips. That's what that little adapter is for. I'm convinced. It'll thread right in. But I just like this drip tip. I kind of don't want to use my own drip tip. The mouth to lung one, it, it may look a little dorky, but it's uh, it functions really well. Yeah, dude. Okay, I'm in love with these. Can't recommend them enough. Those are bangers to the core. They're sure they're a little fiddly. Sure, there's a lot of parts, there's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of things in the such as, but 
it, it, it all makes sense, you know? When you're building it, it makes sense where you put the coils. It makes sense where you adjust them. It makes sense. It's great. I can't put I can't put either of these down. Great. That's great. And I can just feel how saturated this is. Confident take, taking just chain vaping this. All right, let's uh, let's take off here, guys. Not before I uh, finish the super chats. Uh, where did we leave off? There was one from Bearded Saxon. Last one from Bearded Saxon. Your just try it drip tip is perfect for this. Uh, it kind of would be. It kind of would be, especially on the on the direct lung one, wouldn't it? I don't know about the mouth to lung. I don't want that. I don't want the just try it for a mouth to lung, but for a restricted lung. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right, you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming out on a random Tuesday. Uh, moving forward, we may make this a regular thing. I, I miss it. I miss the build stream. Uh, I miss goofing off. I miss being able to talk about horror movies. Uh, I miss being able to... I mean, and there's some... Yeah, maybe I'll even drop in some advocacy in here. Get on Twitter. Follow me. Join the fight. You know... It's important, I think, to voice your opinion uh, and do testimonials, and I'm a big believer in that. So I'll leave you with that. I'll say peace out. Much love. Be excellent to each other. Vape the Cabo. Do everything in your power to get a Cabo. <laughs> Cabello, sorry. Cabello. I know it's Cabello. I say Cabo on purpose. Do everything in your power to get a Cabello. It, it's Mouth to lung is great. The, the direct lung is great. I know. Ian, it's like night and day. I'm telling you, it's the super silver haze. It just put me in a good mood, and I said, no dangle clacks today. No dangle clacks. Appreciate you, King Phil. Appreciate you guys for coming out. I hope you have a great Tuesday. We're vlogging on Thursday, so I'll, I'll see you then. Should be another action-packed vlog, and I hope you all have just a stellar day. I'll say peace out. And I'm literally just going to sit here all afternoon and vape the uh, Cabellos. That's it. That's all I'm doing. My day's ruined now. Ruined! <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, be excellent to each other. Remember, vaping rules and smoking sucks. Okay, bye. <coughs> it's like 10.30, and then I'm uh, just going to smoke, so... What? There was a super chat. But Tribal Buddha, at the very end, I have to get it in here after the outro... <laughs> he says check your dms okay tribal but thank you i will check my dms bud peace out peace out <coughs> it's like 10 30 and then i'm uh, just gonna smoke so